As summer school week continues, and here with a lesson on Mexican cooking from the Rosewood Maya Cove in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Please welcome Chef Juan Pablo Lazo, everybody. Hey, welcome. So Juan Pablo, just so you know, is literally a seacrest now because he's been with my family, my sister, birthdays, everybody. celebrations. Oh, wow. And he's actually taught, tried to teach me how to cook for the last 10 years or so, yes. right? Uh, yeah, 15. 15, 15 years. 15. All right. Have you so, learned? Well, this yeah. we'll, we'll, yeah. I'm he, a work in he progress. Can eat. He can eat. I yeah. love it's very good. Now, okay. we have some gorgeous ingredients yeah. here uh, on, the, on the counter. Tell us about yes. these are the, the fundamentals and foundations. Yeah, like basically, we, if you want to have a Mexican pantry, this is what you will oh, have to no. have. You always have a, at home pepitas. Pepitas. Uh, we also, of course, we have chiles, chiles. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh and dry. Mm -hmm. uh, the chiles are very important because that's part of the, the, the personality, right? Mm -hmm. uh, every fresh chile has their a dried version, so this is the poblano That's and the, the ancho. One. It's the same one when it's on dried. The famous chipotle Ooh. comes from the, smell this. this. Oh uh, my gosh, the smoke oh is my gosh. Right? It's from the jalapeno, it's a dried jalapeno that, it, that it's a smoke. So the chipotle is a dried jalapeno? Exactly. No one told me this. No, no, right. no you know. But, but JP just told you. Yeah, Come why on, why here. Here. So, And normally you have jalapenos like in a can, chipotle in adobo, and that's very useful for mix in, uh, for everything. Well, you use it on fish, you use it on chicken, in, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, or with mayonnaise or something. Right, okay. And then we're gonna talk about tomatillos too, because everybody knows tomatoes, which are amazing. Right. And, um, but tomatillos are also, don't be afraid to use tomatillos. You can use them, normally everybody roasts them, but if you use them uh, raw, in Rosewood Mayaco, we have a lot of fresh food, uh, and we love to use this. This, like when it's raw, tastes like uh, an apple. And uh, really? It's, really, it's really good. So and it adds acidity to something, it. right? Adds it's acidity. So you, you can make like a pico de gallo, but replacing mm -hmm. this for that. With that. So it's going to be more tart and Onions, delicious. Onions, cilantro, things like yes, that, right? Yeah. So okay, if right. you roast them, you can make salsa verde or salsa roja, mm -hmm. depending if you use mm -hmm. green or red. Yes. So then, of course, the limes. I love limes. When I live in the Caribbean, they used to call me lime juice because I, <laughs> I put lime on everything. Uh, and of course, it's very uh, in Mexican food. We always have something sour. That that's very good for the balance of the flavors. The avocados, of course. What, what is the difference in these avocados? These are like the Caribbean, uh, okay. are a little more watery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ajas is the most traditional. Mm -hmm. right. We use, we will use some for uh, has for the next recipe. Uh, these are. Mexican avocados, there's some, they're always different types. A good tip is to pick them, uh, check on the bottom if they're a little bit, this is perfect. Let me okay. see. We'll take that to our rooms. <laughs> right, right, right. We'll eat this after. after right? yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the corn, it's the mother of everything. Uh, we use the corn basically, uh, if we can talk about the heritage of Mexican cooking, the corn is the basic. I know you avoid a lot of corn. But, but I but like the corn that you have at the Mayacoba Resort. It's yeah, really, it's really, really good, good like, So, of course, the corn, when it's dried, it's like this. Mm -hmm. It's cooked uh, in uh, water with cal. It's called nixtamal, and with that, you turn into masa to I make tortillas. I love the masa flour, yes. Yeah. Yeah. One of the great ingredients you use, and you like to smash it, put it in sauces, and do a lot of things with it, the papitas, the pumpkin seeds. Yes. So talk about what you can do with the, these. Well, this is a superfood. Well, it's everything in superfood, but the pepitas is a great ingredient. Uh, in, uh, in Mayacoba, we're in the Yucatan Peninsula, and we have a lot of... Uh, a, ingredients from the Mayan region, and this one is one of the most important ones. You can blend it in a salsa, you can use them over a salad, or even in a smoothie, and it's, it's just great. It adds some crispiness to everything, so it's, it's awesome. All right, wow. coming up next, we're gonna take a break and come back and make a, well, it's a Mexican breakfast, right? Yes. I mean, an amazing breakfast. We'll have right after this. I wanna taste these now. I want to know more about anything you see on live? Just go to our website at kellyryan.com. I'm, I'm eating the ingredients. We're back with Chef Juan Pablo Loza, learning how to make an avocado scramble. Okay, JP, what do we need to do? So, you can make scrambled eggs, but you didn't know you can add avocado in it. Mm. It's yes. uh, a French will put butter in it, but we put avocados. The avocado will make it creamy and all that. So, basically, oh, cool. I will teach you how to, well, a lot of people know how to do this, but is What's always the, the easiest, it is a safest, right. way. So the, the, there is a lot of people like cutting their hands. So if you use the, the bottom part, the, like this, the closest to you, you have more control here. You oh, twist it, and then you have a very nice tool, which is called finger. I'm always I like doing that. it, it leaves it. And, and then you just push it, and Done. that's it, Got it. right? Beautiful. And then instead of cutting with this, you use a, 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 normal, a, a normal knife, 
butter knife. Mm -hmm. So please help me with some uh, eggs here, and you can do this. Okay. And squares. Okay, cracking. Do it in squares. Yes. Just, we will use half avocado. Mm -hmm. Good, good, Ryan. Yeah, very good. Very good, right? Yeah. And then we're just scooping me. it out. That's it. Three eggs. That's Three. it. That's no. it. Yes, sir. And do I put okay. this in here? Yes, please. Look at that. Well, it Done. doesn't quite look like it's uh, like I cut it right. What a but... great yes. sub for butter. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> it is, and it's and healthier. Then, so we just put a little bit of salt, and then okay. start to mix it with a fork. With a fork. With a fork. Sorry, here's a fork. Go for it. I, you're good. You're. You're better cooking that in maths, but... Chef <laughs> 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 Juan with the jokes. Okay, okay so now so what? Okay, so I'll we're putting uh, oil. It's a very hot pan. Okay. Uh, mix it a little bit. Um, a little more? Need, yeah, you did great, Ashi. You did great. But... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but a little, yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Don't, exactly. Okay. So okay. hold it here. Okay. Um, so we're putting a little bit... You like spicy, right? Yes. So a little bit of chile serrano. Mmm. Mmm. And then... Smells good. I'm glad everybody's hungry. Oh, you because... put those in the pan. And then, uh, <coughs> Ooh, it's, it's like chili. Oh, that's spicy. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then we put. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so we put. Oh, it's gonna the... be good. <laughs> yes. Put that in there. So this is a breakfast that I used to have for myself uh, over there in Mayakoba. Um, and then suddenly I say, like, this is very good. We should put it on the menu. And now it's one of the best sellers People over love there. It, People right? love it. So can I have the, oh, here are the plates. You can dress, and will you put cilantro on top? And we will put some uh, salad that is made with a little bit of uh, tomatillos. And um, so look, the, the eggs are cooked. This is done. Mm, and I like when the chips get soggy with the flavor. Um, so so we're in. basically putting a little bit of this. Uh, mm. Help me with the salad on the top. Yes. This salad has right. tomatillos, a little bit of oil, and watercress. Let's water dress so it. mix it's it a little bit. Mix it a little. It, put it on top. Oh, good. You see? Drizzle you can it go on to cookingmind.com for more on Juan Pablo's summer school lesson on Mexican cooking and cooking over the fire. We have to do that next time with the flame. Oh, you yes. come back, right? Absolutely. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Let's see. Yes.